Good morning. morning. It is sea day time. Yeah. So we're going to start off with some sea day brunch in the MDR. I don't think we've done that yet. No. And then see what happens. There's a ton of trivia going on today. A lot of trivia. <laughs> which they have the uh, medallions, not the trophies, but that's all right. Yeah, some game shows, a mm. crew talent show, lots of comedy, things like that. So, yeah. Nice. Mm. Let's have a little day, shall we? All right. Come on. Well, no wait at all this morning. Now, time for some sea day wanders. I wonder where we'll end up. <laughs> five, one, three, five. We have come back to the cabin to find a scorpion lobsterion. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, I've heard of those. Ship's time now is at 12 30, so 30 minutes past noon, and we are sailing on the San Flores Gulf for the fourth time. So we are back on the St. Lawrence Gold. We are recovered 350 miles from uh, departure yesterday from St. Anthony, and approximately we have the same amount of miles, so 350 to go to reach Halifax tomorrow morning, and by 10 a.m. we will be docked at Pier 20, port side of Sun. Just like that, it is dinner time. Mm -hmm. What? I can't walk. <laughs> the ship is bobbling back and forth a little bit. Let's eat some food. We are in early for dinner tonight because there is a show this evening and it's one performance only. So we wanna go ahead and eat and get there. We are here for the crew talent show. The doors are not yet open, but they will soon. <laughs> wow, doors are open. Let's get in here. Oh, we got a pre show. that's been sitting in that booth all cruise long running the sound for every single show. Now, I have a question for you. How many people here think we have an amazing team on board? I do too, and I guarantee you when they come out here and see just how full this lounge is, they will understand that you do as well.
practice a lot of phrases, a lot of sentences, a lot of words. She shells. She shells. By the seashore. I can't even think of a situation in, 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 in which I have to say, you know, the thing. jamming down there in the atrium, but we're in the mood. First on for all y'all. Back to the cabin. Good, Good night, night. y'all. We done changed. We came back to the cabin. <laughs> well, we've been working. I See, I forget what we've said in the vlog and what we just talked about amongst ourselves. Yeah, yeah. We've been working on a contingency plan because of this gigantic Hurricane Lee. That's Scary. That's way up the coast, yeah. So, tomorrow, we are supposed to be in the port of Halifax. We've had this whole confusion where the port of Halifax had added us to their port website for birth 20. A couple of days later, they removed us from their port website. They removed us from like their Facebook promotions. So but the <laughs> captain and crew still says we're going to Halifax. I haven't been able to get direct communication with anyone at the port to confirm. So we're going with Halifax tomorrow. That's we'll the see. last land we're going to see before Baltimore. Yeah. Now, the problem I'm seeing is all of the forecast models have Hurricane Lee right outside the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay on Friday. Like, all day Friday. Boom, boom. 30 to 40 knot would be. winds. Yeah. yeah. So, we have chosen to make a contingency plan to exit the ship tomorrow at Halifax. We've never had to do this before. No. It's not something we want to do. We would love to ride the ship right back into Baltimore safely and be on our way for our next trip. But That's right. There's so many variables, we just don't know, and you have to have plan B. Yeah, so. we only have one day. Like, we're supposed to get back to Baltimore on Saturday and then fly to Vancouver yeah. that day because we get on another ship on Sunday. So Lee can't be messing up our plans. Right. So we talked to the front desk, uh, or guest services, and mm -hmm. they have uh, gotten an appointment with Customs so that we can legally leave the ship, get processed properly, and catch a flight, hopefully out of Halifax tomorrow. A few steps to it. You don't just jump off the ship with your luggage. You don't, don't no. do that. Um, but they've been really gracious with all the information, and I think... If we have to do it, it's going to go well. True. <laughs> yeah, we had to like show our passports. We had to show flight a printout of flight, you know, because you have to have a plan. You can't right. just be like, I want to stay in Halifax. No, you have <laughs> to show onward journey, I guess it is. Yeah. So we got all that ready, mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. Either we're going to show up in Halifax and get off the ship, or if it's not Halifax, it's a sea day, and we continue on to Baltimore. We're packed, though, either yeah, way. So. We are. That's why I'm in my, my bedtime pajamas t-shirt. <laughs> all right, well... We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see what Stay happens. Tuned. Good night. Bye. Y'all, we forgot to talk about dinner. Hey, okay, we're back. I'm uh, in my pajamas, just yeah, ignore yeah. that. We're even more in bedtime mode now. But yeah, it was Mexican night in the dining room, and I was excited for that. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. You nachos. Called super loaded nachos. They're loaded, they're not super loaded. It's like, you know, cheese, beans, jalapenos, because they were kind of spicy. Tomatoes, mm. cilantro, all that good stuff. They were tasty. 
nice. I had a pork taco. Decent overall, actually. I like the sauce they put with it. It was kind of like a chili sauce. I called it ancho. I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> it was a little spicy. Um, condiments, good. Everything in there to pork. It was solid pork, so I was pleased with that taco. Now, you had the... Uh, Infectitos that's the one. Camarones. It's the same thing that you would get at... Um, Chibang. Chibang on, like, Mardi Gras celebration, soon to be Jubilee. They're normally, like, fluffy and crispy, and you can cut out the inside and, like, stuff them. These were, like, fried flat tortillas. They were weird. The shrimp was good. They were extremely chewy, like... Tortillas. So I don't all know. five shrimp you they were good. That great. Yeah, they, they, they did not inflate. The inflatitas yeah. were flat and Just chewy. Shrimp so. were tasty though. Yeah. I had the sopa, which it was kind of, I thought of it as a play of like a ropa vieja because it has shredded beef mm -hmm. in it. Flavor's really good. There was something in there that almost made me think it was like an Asian spice. It was a warm flavor in there. <laughs> it was probably a chili pepper, but in my brain, <laughs> it, was, it, it wasn't in Mexico. Maybe but it was Thai good. Chili or something. <laughs> Maybe. But all the flavors were great. I like the soup. Yeah. There is your fried fish. Yeah, I forget what this is. Pescado frito. That. I've had it before at Chebang. Um, really good. This one tasted good, but because it's fried, it didn't get cooked all the way on the inside, mm. and it was like raw, most of it. The waiter knew that coming up to me. He's like, you didn't eat it. He's like, it wasn't cooked, was it? And I was like, no. He's like, they've been trying to do it, but because it's breaded, it's harder. Do you want something else? At that point, I wasn't really hungry anymore. But if it had been cooked all the way, it probably would have been great. But I'm not taking a chance on that. So. True. And apparently, so yeah, yours was not the only one of no, the evening that was reported wrong. Unfortunately. But, oops. I had the pollo something mole. Um, now, a mole, I usually think it's like real thick and real dark, and maybe that's just me not understanding mole. The flavors on this were really good, though. It was a thin, light brown, flavorful sauce. I'm not a mole expert. <laughs> Taters, broccoli, chicken was tender, so I really enjoyed my mole. Uh, you originally did not order dessert, but then when your fish flaked out on you. I was hungry, so I got fruit. Yeah. <laughs> fruit is fruit. It was good. Good food. I got the coconut tres leches, which of course, cake soaked in dairy products. Yum yum. Super sweet. Um, I'll let you have a bite because yeah, you love coconut. Very sweet. Very sweet. But that's what tres leches is and I yep. love it. So, so definitely some I, hits and misses. I had mostly hits. Not that the flavor was bad, just mm. in the cooking. And it's because I think they really only do this on Journeys Cruises. Yeah. So it's not like something they're doing every week. So you got to give them, you know. Yeah. Some grace there. It's, it's a menu that you don't see that often, unless you're at Chebang. Yeah. Sort of. Sure. All right, y'all. Good night again. Good night. For real this time. <laughs> Bye. And now it is time for In the Shower with Jay, Carnival Legend Edition. So this is a fairly pleasant, squarish, um, you know, shower curtain model. Nice shower head, good pressure. It's removable. It's detachable. Is that the same word? Yeah, it does all sorts of fancy things. Snack shelf, which is very small, I must say. It currently has a piece of paper on it, but that, you know, you're not going to get much. Maybe a pack of snack crackers or something. Who knows? Um, shampoo, body wash. Uh, what else is happening in here? Not a whole lot. They don't have, like, the little bars and, you know, things like that. We do have a clothesline up there, which is nice, and a sign reminding us to be smart, which is nice. But, yeah, good shape overall. I don't focus. I don't mind the shower curtain when it's, you know, a nice rounded shape. Round is a good shape on me, shall we say. Pretty sure we have had identical showers to this, probably on spirit, miracle, pride, question mark. Let's dig into the spreadsheet and see what happens. Yeah. It's breakfast time. Pick nine. Success. <laughs> time to go. All right, the ship is heading to Halifax, and we are off to phase one of exiting the ship. So we have a 920 appointment at guest services as the first step, and then I think that's to clear immigration, and then something a little bit later on to actually clear customs. And the casino is closed, so we can peek around in here real quick. All these slots, 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 slots. Now we're all heading to the dining room for processing. So the process overall so far has been relatively painless. We just went to the little meeting um, where they took our customs forms we had to complete, gave us back our passports and our printed out travel plans, which we had had to provide to guest services previously. 
now we just wait. Um, 12.50ish, we're supposed to go back to guest services, and then everyone who's leaving the ship leaves at 1 o'clock. That's when they will have somebody shoreside to process us all officially into Canada. But we've been pre-processed, so that part was very smooth. This is just a simple reminder to all guests who are going ashore that the gangway today is located on deck two midship. Let's do lunch. We've got turkey sandwiches from the deli, minus the mustard, plus some, or minus the mayonnaise, <laughs> plus the mustard, I should say, yeah. and some salads. And Dee has convinced me to try cottage cheese on my salad. And with balsamic dressing, I think that's kind of like a burrata, so that should be delightful. And it's extra protein. That's extra it. protein. Back down to the cabin. A lot of people still in. Deck five. So, Hello. farewell for now. I know. It's weird. <laughs> anyway, we're getting ready to hop off the ship, so 1 o'clock is our time, and we are ready for it. Our flight's at 3.15. We're gonna make it. Cross your fingers. <laughs> anyway, so I'm not gonna record the process of getting off. I mean, I think it's fairly no. standard. We'll just catch up with you later with final thoughts. I don't think you're allowed to, anyway. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. Sometimes I get weird about recording in secure zones and weird stuff. We'll do a wrap-up later, you know, then. Let's just put a little blue bloop right here, and we will see you. Yeah. Yeah. from the future. We do this a lot. That's right. We are back home. We have collected our thoughts and we're ready to talk about our cruise experience. Exactly. Legend. <laughs> um, I guess we have to end the story first. Oh, so yeah. we obviously left the ship in Halifax because boom, boom, storm was coming. Yeah. Also known as Lee. Um, but good news. We made it across the country. Everything's successful. We enjoyed a glorious 21 days on Nordam. We mm. did. And everybody got back to Baltimore safely. The ship did arrive when it was supposed to, thanks to Captain Mark and his excellent skills there yes. um but the guest services desk was great about giving us all the information we needed to make that happen i don't know if it's because we were in canada that they were allowing us to do that don't just try and do that make sure it's well, something that's okay ask yeah yeah yeah. We, yeah we asked and followed all the rules and protocols and they made it very seamless so yeah because i wasn't sure that they were actually going to let us off in any port other than baltimore so yeah right. whatever the circumstances were that's anyway. why you need a passport kids <laughs> Always travel with yes. that passport. That's true. Yep. Anyway, but let's get into now this video or the end of this video is just focusing on our actual experience with the Carnival Legend Cruise. We're not getting into any of like the Mist Greenland or right. any of that stuff. So just the cruise experience as it was. Oh, ready for it. <laughs> yeah. um, I've got some notes on the phone, of course, just to make sure. So mm -hmm. little things that we noticed along the way that we wanted to point out. So tender tickets being the first thing. Yeah, so... Greenland itself and a couple of the ports in Canada were tender, oh, yeah. um, yeah, to get off the ship basically. Mm -hmm. And they had a set time for the line would begin and they start sending out or handing out the tender tickets. But, <laughs> so, well, yeah. yeah, the point, I, the whole thing was, is if you're doing this type of itinerary, I guess, know that there's a lot of tendering, yeah. which could be questionable for accessibility needs and things mm -hmm. like that. We touched on a little bit in the video, but it was the, the tendering was supposed, or the pickup of tender tickets was supposed to start around three in three. the afternoon yeah. on one particular day. And someone took it upon themselves to sit and start that line around nine, nine thirty in the morning, which caused it to back up and get all crazy. We've had discussion with some of the people that were in that line and feel like, you know, it could have been maybe handled better in a different venue rather than stringing things through the casino, but also it kind of fell to whoever the first few people were right. to start that line. That was not Carnival's fault. That's true. That chose to start that line early. So I kind of see a little bit of both sides of that. It was because they had independent excursions and yeah, wanted to make sure that they didn't miss them. Buses were waiting. You know, you get it. That kind of thing. And Platinum and Diamond on that didn't matter. There was no like yeah, no early tender tender. tickets. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of a weird one that I just wanted to touch <laughs> on the fact that, you know, be sure if you need tender tickets, understand some of the ports can't even handle accessibility on these Greenland things from what we understand. We didn't get there, so we don't know for sure, but from what we understand. Right. All right, moving on. Laundry service. This was another interesting tidbit, which we gathered from the Facebook group. Now, we personally sent in one bag. Mm -hmm. We got that bag back successfully. But keeping tabs with the Facebook group, they didn't have as good a luck as we did. No, there was people who didn't even turn in laundry that were getting bags back from other people. People missing entire like sets of clothing, jeans, mixed up laundry between different cabins. I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah. And again, lots of platinum and diamond, lots yeah. of free laundry going in and out. Um, on an especially a longer cruise, but 
Carnival, that's not good. It was a lot. We were seeing that's lots, really not good. lots of posts of messed up laundry yeah. on that sailing. So I don't know what was up, but ours came back ours to was us fine. successfully, yeah. which was good. Um, food overall, I had a really good food journey, I would say, for the most part. Now, it had been four years since we sailed this ship before. Right. And it was awful the first time. Remember that Alaska, Alaska cruise with yeah. the awful food? This was much better. Um, yeah. The meals, like the options were good. Like they had um, like the Mexican, ooh, I forget the name of it. Yeah, it was just the Mexican night menu. Yeah, of course, yeah. that was actually one of the biggest flops well, because you had a couple of misfired dishes <laughs> on that one. But, but at least there was some diversity there. That's you know? true. Um, but yeah, everything was flavored really well. The temperatures were good. Yeah. No yeah complaints. So I was happy overall with Me the too. food. Um, entertainment. This is actually going to get into something else I noticed which was interesting. There are a few core activities that to me I associate with a carnival cruise. A couple of those we didn't have on this sailing, unless I missed them. If y'all were on there with us and you saw these, please let me know. But we did not see a mega deck party. There wasn't. Or an 80s rock and glow party. Those are two things that have become core to the carnival experience <laughs> in my heart. And I missed those. And they had the closed dome, so the weather didn't really play a factor yeah. in that. They could have done them. An 80s rock and glow would have tied in perfectly with the throwback CD oh, that true. night. Missed opportunity. Yeah, but it was weird to have something like that because we always look forward to like 80s mm -hmm. rock and glow. I mean, have we gone to every single one? No, we go to bed mm -hmm. early sometimes, but we do look forward to those. But people had come prepared with 80s uh -huh. things to, to, well, for the throwback C day, but then to go into that as well. Yeah. And they didn't have it. Yeah, but I mean, there were some atrium parties and things like that. There were a few. There was like a 50s, 60s atrium party mm -hmm. with Cam. There was an oldies but goodies atrium party, but the parties overall. I don't really see a lot of them. Big, <laughs> it's true. It's a <laughs> really tiny. Space. Yeah. Anyway, um, other entertainment uh, points of note. Um, they did the four shows. The production yeah. staff, the cast was amazing on this particular cruise. They were. They did a lot of comedy, but they put it in the larger lounge, which left karaoke for like we're below, which we didn't mind. But it was a lot of comedy, and they could have filled it in maybe with some other like hmm. fly-on entertainers. Granted, it was weird circumstances getting people yeah, on the, the logistics ship, so I understand that. Of changing the ports might yeah. have changed up some of their plans. Because we did notice some stuff was switching up. We were supposed right. to have certain singers coming on later in the week, and they got dropped and things like that. Yeah. So I'm sure those logistics of keeping yeah, us sure. safe really scrambled their plans yeah. a good little bit. Anyway, moving on to the Journeys cruise experience. Now, you know we love a good Journeys cruise. Mm -hmm. I think this was, this was our fifth. I knew we did yeah. one. Vista, Breeze, Pride, Sunshine. The Throwback Sea Day is always a highlight of that. And we had a pretty good Throwback Sea Day. We got the horse racing. Mm -hmm. We got the frog racing. They did the bingo. We didn't go to it. But with the old spinny right. cage. And I think they had knobby knees, right? Is that Throwback? Yeah, they scheduled a few of the things over each yeah. other. which So you couldn't attend everything. And that was the day they decided to start the, the shuttle. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, tickets and somebody started at 9 a.m. So a lot of people missed out and that was their choosing to yeah. stand in the line, unfortunately. But, but And they kind of had to do it in order to be able to get those in independent yeah. excursions. But gosh. But um, but yeah, the, the activities yeah. were good and hosted well. And Yeah. yeah. Um, the Midnight Buffet has been gone, I think, yeah. since the coronial times, as it were. This is our first Journey's Cruise since the Great Restart of 2021. True. So I don't think that buffet has made it back at all. That, always fun. We don't usually eat it. We just look at it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, another interesting thing that usually happens on Journey's Cruises is they have, I forget the name of the series, oh, Academy of Fun. Yes. Where there's usually a series of five lectures, and it's like one is on social media, one is on food, one is on photography, mm -hmm. and you go around, you attend these different lectures and you collect these little pins and that's kind of become a highlight for a few people interesting thing and I don't know what had happened uh, the lecturer on board this ship only taught astronomy lectures mm -hmm. so everyone you went to was astronomy there were no other subjects now I'm sure it was fascinating different aspects of astronomy but it was all astronomy I think from what I learned later on is they did it because possibility of seeing the northern lights they wanted okay. to like get us prepared for that but usually they also talk about like destinations of where you're going to. Like if we'd been able to go oh, to Greenland, that would have been okay. part of it. I know the August group had that, but gotcha. that wasn't there either. Okay. So some, I mean, it was just, there were, there were things that were noticeably lacking, I think, compared to our past right. journeys experiences and just even our past carnival experiences. So yeah. overall, I'm going to say it was not my favorite carnival experience. It was experience. a fine and cruise. It was. It was a perfectly fine cruise. And that's taking the whole loss of Greenland thing right. out of it. Just yeah, yeah, evaluating yeah. it as a 14 day or 11 for us, yeah. um, Carnival Cruise, it was lacking. Yeah, I don't know 
why, but it either. just didn't have the same feeling. So luckily we had lots of karaoke and yeah. dancing and things like that. I mean, we had fun. We always we have fun. Yeah, but... we're going to have fun no matter what we do. And yeah. we got to explore some Newfoundland, which we had never seen yes. before. Newport. And saw some great stuff, gorgeous things. So we had a good cruise. Mm -hmm. We had a fine cruise overall. <laughs> How about that? We're rated a fine. Yeah, it was fine. Speaking of fine, let's be fine that this part is over. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. Any other final words I should say? That's no, all the words I had on the You briefly touched so. on the um, yeah. accessibility, so okay. I, I want to talk about that a little bit more. Carnival, after the cruise was paid in full, did send out a letter letting people know that because the tender situation, like ah. if you had mobility issues, you probably would not be able to get off and go see those ports. So just know if you book something to yeah, Greenland yeah, yeah. and you have accessibility issues, it's not Carnival's thing, it's just that there's one pier and you have to tender over it. I don't know about other cruise lines, but keep that in mind. Um, you know, maybe that's not the best option for you True. to book. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if Carnival only learned that after I final payments know. were made or if they only decided to tell people that after well, final payments Well, it's not necessarily that. I just want to put out the information. No, no, that's yeah. true. We're letting you know so you can make those educated decisions. Yeah, I would hate for somebody to book that and then not be able to enjoy what they booked. Yeah. yeah, but that's all for now. So thanks for joining Carnival Legend Series. Yeah. Nordam will be coming up soon. <laughs> Such excitement. But. Yeah. As always, if you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time, rock, rock on. on. Bye.